this kind of stage is the place where some storms occur. But once in a while, the weather takes a turn. Tornadic thunderstorms rarely form. Because geographically, you need cold and warm. This kind of is usually warm, or it's cold. But by the time you meet, you may get old. For a tornado to be created, you need some ingredients that may be hated. For example, the cold that comes from the mountains, it cools down your body so you won't need water fountains. It's a different story. You get out and you're listening to you think your name is Corey. When the warm and cold clash, the warmth has arrived. The cool up air sinks to everyone's surprise. The moisture in the warm air starts to more clouds. When it gets high and cools, it starts to fall down. The warm air pushes it back up. The cooler creates horizontal rotation and flows down and up. Eventually, the cool air from way up high pushes one another convection down easy as pie. of storm I just described is called the supercell tornado alley is where it thrives. Tornado alley is in the US. The central region is where it is known best. Wisconsin not included. It's too far north. Tornadoes my other heart by a girl named Dorothy. Tornadoes are scary and you need to know what to do. You need to find a safe place for you. Tornadoes are strong and can tear down a lot. I can give you some tips that may save you and your tops. The best thing possible is an underground safe room. The structure would certainly save you from doing If you don't have that, then try a basement. It's the second best spot for your placement. If you don't have that, you probably live in a ranch house. There's one place you can go, but it might live in your blouse. The place you can go is an interior hallway. It might do okay, so your life you may not pay. If you're driving, the best thing you can do is get out and run into a ditch full of poo. The one thing that is bad is to hide in an underpass. That's really unsafe and you better stay in the grass. The same thing goes for a motorhome. Get into the ditch even if your name is Jerome. Definitely do not hide under a tree. It's very unsafe to kill a family of three. No matter where you are, you need the safety position. Even if you're part of the Economic and Social Council Commission, you duck on your head right down to the floor. Like Mr. Kerr demonstrated on April 24. Now demonstrate the protection position. Get down on your knees. Get 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 down on your knees and cover the back of your head and neck with your hands. Come come cover the back of your head. So how it's when cold meets warm, the updraft just isn't as strong. So the water droplets fall across from the supercell song. But sometimes, rarely, the updraft is stronger. The cloud tops rise and the water stays on longer. After a while, the water will freeze. This creates hail that falls in a breeze. With the colder that falls with the hail, comes strong wind to be stronger than a gale. This is called the downward downdraft, not burst or downburst. Downburst is the most powerful. Where the wind is the worst. When the moisture is gone, the storm starts to dissipate. This is something that people don't anticipate. Again, storms could possibly injure. You have to be safe so you're treated gingerly. One thing to do is close windows and doors. This way you keep the wind and lightning outdoors. Another thing to do is stay indoors. This will protect you from the storm so you can save the life of yours. The next thing to do is turn off your TV. Do the same with electronics or your bucket or go pee. Keep from using the sink and stay out of the shower. The lightning goes through pipes to be safe for an hour. If the storm builds up and it starts to get bad, you could take shelter in the basement you had. If you don't have a basement, just stay in your house. That way you're protected and you'll save your pet mouse. The next thing you could do if you're in a car is drive away, drive very far. If the storm is too strong and it's raining too much, you need to slow down and put your foot on the clutch. If it gets really bad, you need to brake. But stay in your car or your car might shake. Of course, then there's a motorhome that's the scariest of all. You need to stay inside curled up in a ball. That's only if it's bad, otherwise you're fine. Just turn off electronics and stay inside. That's all you need to know about severe weather. The rap is all over, it's over altogether.